How's it going, everyone? Marilyn here. That's right. It's time for some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Gonna be checking out Cheville once again. Oh, man. Yeah, so this is now the third week of Cheville. We got through two full weeks already. Man, time flies, I tell you. But hopefully you've been enjoying it so far. I've been actually having a lot of fun with it. It's been really good. It's just enjoyable. It's like relaxing and fun and it's kind of neat building it up from the, the bottom up now uh oh man i feel like this is taking a while oh that's always scary i did save i checked my turnip prices earlier for the turnip mafia so we kind of know what our turnip prices are and it was okay i think it was i don't remember what it was uh i'll have to check but anyway looks like i got some mail that's good from goldie from bones and from olaf oh gosh okay i gotta get rid of something here let's get rid of what did this say from bones uh just the night light thing that's fine <laughs> that's pretty uh Pretty standard, I guess. Hmm. Um. Okay, got the mod wall mosquito. Yeah, I didn't really put away some of this stuff. I want to wear my Sunday tank again. Getting a little hot. Okay. Uh. So, what was I going to do? I was going to read this letter, right? Well, these letters. I got three of them. So, what does Goldie have to say? Uh, greetings, Warder. How are you? I wanted to write you back right away. I hope you don't mind if I talk about myself in these letters. Oh, I did it again. I'll be waiting by my mailbox. Oh, she wants letters. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll have to send her some. Bones! Howdy, Warder. Thank you for that long letter. I read it while eating a long licorice whip, taking one bite for every line you wrote. I got a stomach ache, but it was worth it. Your pal, Bones. Oh, well, that's great. Thanks, Bones. Um... Let's see, what did we get? It's a telescope, ooh. And then from Olaf. To my buddy Warder, receiving a gift from you, it moves me so much. Out of all the hot picks this season, I've picked the one that suits you best. I'd love it if you loved it by your side, Olaf. Okay, that's just creepy. I sent him a chain gang thing and said, you're arrested or something like that. Uh, a vaulting horse. What the heck? Okay, what's this all about? I gotta see. I know I got that telescope. That'd make a good gift for someone, I feel. I know it's re-gifting, but they won't care. Oh, yeah, and I got that thing from Agnes. Agnes, not Agnes, as I've learned. Okay, vaulting horse. What does this look like? What the... Okay. Uh-huh. I'm not really into vaulting, to be honest. So, this looks like a trap. I'll have to do something with that later. How's this mod wall look? Oh, oh, actually, no, that doesn't look that bad. Huh, I mean, what I don't like about this is it doesn't really go with the carpet. So, this actually kind of works with the carpet. You know what, I think I'll leave it for now. But I bet you this exquisite wall will be just fine and dandy over here. Let me go ahead and do that. I have a ladybug. I, I see a few people talking about the ladybug. I already have a ladybug, so I don't really need it. Um, you yeah, know, both of these look all right. Although I think I actually like the, the manor one better. So I'll put this exquisite wall away in the secret storeroom for now. Telescope, vaulting horse, and balloon dresser. This will put the balloon dresser. Wait, is that? Yeah, we'll put that away as well. Okie dokie. I gotta expand that room, gosh darn it. I invested all my money in turnips. So, gotta do something about that. But let's go ahead and see what my turnip prices are. I think I'm quite curious about that. Uh, let me grab this. Whoops. My bad. Let's get... Darn it, I just, I can't. Okay, here we go. Fossil. I was worried it'd be like a pitfall, and then it'd be Olaf trying to get me. You know that happened, right? Oh, this doesn't belong here. Get out. Ooh, silver. Snazzy. 
Goldie, you're out and about. Hey, what's up? Never see you these days. Uh, hi there, we're ready for another great day. Whoops, what can I do for you? All right, I want to chat. You know, when I look at your Sunday tank, it makes me feel like having a snack. <laughs> right? Yeah, it looks so good. Okay, uh... Is the town ordinance went into effect? Yeah, I know. I'm a visionary leader. But, do you have anything interesting to say? Uh, oh, on a day like today, it's not hard to think of one of my favorite books, The Gyroid Whisperer. Okay, we gotta get her a gyroid. I think that's what she needs. I think she'd be better off if she had more... more people to talk to. Speaking of people to talk to, here's Sahara. Let's go ahead and take Sahara on over to decorate my walls. Um, all right, let's see. Gonna deliver Sahara. See what kind of furniture I will get. Well, not really furniture, but what kind of wallpaper. Okay. Do your worst. Give me something good. I at least get my other stuff back, so it's not really that much of a problem, but it's always good to kind of see what kind of stuff you can score. Yes? Okay, um... Can't pronounce Welsh, unfortunately, but Simru Ambeth? That's how it looks to me. 2410 asking, what do you use to make backgrounds to your video slash streams? I use Photoshop for the most part. Uh, that tends to look kind of nice. I've been using Photoshop for a long time, so kind of have a little bit of an idea of what's going on. I'm not like a pro designer by any means, but that's what I do, and I do like it. I do see a few people asking about like, you know, are you gonna play this for Pokemon or what? What's this with Pokemon? And not to be rude, I do stream Pokemon streams on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Those are the best times to ask me Pokemon questions, not when I'm in the Animal Crossing zone, so I'm not likely to answer them, to be honest. Sorry about that. So I do like the, um, this floor, actually. I don't like it in here. It looks dirty, but it definitely has some application. Like, if we want a real woodsy kind of area, I think it would look nice. So... And then, I don't know what wall that is. It's a classic wall. That could actually be nice later on, too. So, uh, Sandlot. Okay, well, again, we can put these away for later. Um, when I have something that they'll go with. And I might as well put away the Silver Nugget. Do I need that? Where, where do I put that? I could put it in my storage thing. Telescope, Vaulting Horse. Hmm, I'm gonna hold on to those. I can always do something with those later. Okay, let's see. Hmm, um, Pokemon Star Rachel asking, have you tried the spin-offs, An Amiibo Festival and Happy Home Designer? I actually have tried them both. They're both nice. I haven't played a lot of either of them. To be honest, I actually kind of like Amiibo Festival. I was very disappointed when they announced it at E3 last year. It was not what I wanted to see. But it's like a more relaxed Mario Party. Where, you know, you don't really have the mini games to worry about or ruin friendships with. Instead, you just have, you know, just kind of like board game and stuff like that. It's interesting. It's relaxing. I think releasing it at a high price is probably not the best idea. It's really more like a 20, 15 to 20 dollar game, I'd say. But it's, uh, it's alright. It's nicer to chill time with friends that like Animal Crossing. Oh no! God, an important package for Benedict got delivered to my house by mistake. Do you have a minute? Can you run it over to him for me? Oh, sure. As for Happy Home Designer, it's pretty relaxing as well. It gives the, you know, the whole building and spoiling your villagers thing. Like, I like that. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's really great for people that like to, um, spoil their villagers and do some designs and stuff like that. So, it's, uh, it's kind of fun. I might, in the future, do some streams of that. You guys gotta let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, I think it could be... Wait, what did I do? I think it could be pretty great. Because it's also a pretty chill game. I wouldn't do it, like, daily. Unless you guys really went nuts or something. Okay, what did I do? 
Oh, interior design. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. That's fine. And travel to another town by train. Well, I'll do that eventually. Okay. Horned Atlas, Horned Hercules, Horned Elephant. Watch out for horns. Cash for clutter. Well, great. We're going to get that in a moment. In fact, let me get another one of these butterflies here. Okay. Link BOTW Alex saying, Maryland, thanks for making videos everyone can enjoy. Oh! Oh! I'm sorry, Bones! Oh, I didn't mean to, first of all, take your bug, and second of all, whack you on the head with the net. Uh, anyway, saying, this is your first stream I've watched, but your videos make me happy every day. Well, that's awesome. That is awesome. Glad you enjoy them. This is just kind of a chill, relaxed stream. But a lot of people like it. It's just it's a relaxing time. Okay, a game shelf. That's great. Bones is giving me, like, all sorts of stuff. Have you noticed? He's, like, he's just giving me stuff left and right, which is kind of adorable, really. I like Bones. He's probably my favorite villager at the moment. Oh, hey, here we go. Did you know I had a chat with Papa John's from Papa John? Wait, Papa John? Wait, I mean, I had a chat with Papa John from Papa John's. Okay, yeah, I mean, I can understand your confusion with that one. Now, he's one heck of a green thumb, don't you think? Yeah, I, I think so. Sylvia! How are you doing? Hmm. Uh, hey, what's up, Warder? So anyway, did you need something? All right, what's the latest? A bug fighting tournament. Have you seen it? It's so cool. That sounds like it should be illegal. There's a super fierce bug, a rainbow stag that was totally totally dominating. Man, I'd love to see something like that in person. Hey, you're good at catching bugs, right? Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Um, Mr. F29 saying, I'm so jealous of the English names of the cat machine and meow coupons because those names are so boring in French. What are they in French? Now you got me curious. Oh, man. Uh, so I don't know how I'm going to get a rainbow stag. I don't think I could do that until the evening. But I figured I might as well at least say something. Hmm. What did you want again? A delivery. Oh, yeah, that's right. For some reason, I was thinking it was someone else. Okay, let's deliver this to Benedict. See if I can find him. Ah, uh, let's see. He's an interesting bird. That Benedict. Oh, and here we have Agnes. Let's see what she's up to. Okay, Agnes. Oh, that's an interesting shirt. Whoa, Warder, this is unexpected. Well, I got nothing to offer you, but hang out if you want, Snuffle. So, is there something you need from me? Alright, what's the latest? Oh, hey, you know how to get your hands on good furniture. My house is too empty. It's making, it's kind of making me sad and lonely. If I get more stuff in here, I'm sure it'll feel more comforting. Oh gosh, before you say anything, I'm not trying to fill a hole in my heart by furnishing my home. I mean, nuts. Besides, I love being single. The takeaway here is, if you come across some good furniture, send it my way. Any type will do. All right. Um, how about? Actually, I have to say, I think this game shelf would look pretty good in here. I think it's kind of pink. If I'm not mistaken. So, we'll do this. Okay, you likey. Hmm. Um. Oh, a game shelf. Good call. Hmm, which way should it face? Oh, I know exactly where I want it. Alright, where you want it. I don't see where you put it. Uh, yes, that's it. Alright, here, take my old bromocellier if you want. Ah, oh, the bro plant. I remember this thing from Benchton. I can never pronounce it. Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm glad to help. Oh, oh, wow, okay, that's not where I would have put it, but okay, we gotta get you a TV or something. The bro plant. Okay, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see, Link BOTW Alex saying, is it worth getting this game? I'm curious, like, does it still update since it's several years old, or should I wait for the Switch version? Surprisingly, it actually does update, or at least it did update. Like, they don't do regular updates like usual, but, um, they did release a really big update for it in 2016, even though the game came out in 2012, so, yeah, it's pretty awesome. 
You can get the Welcome Amiibo version, and it has it pre-patched, which is nice. And it's a little bit less expensive for the most part, too. Okay, so Mr. F29 saying about the cat machine and meow coupons. Translated, it's something like commerce coupons and communal machine. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> Man, too bad. Okay, anyway, this is important. This Saturday is the big bug off. At last, it's almost here. Catch the rarest bugs and go for the gold trophy. So, you know what? We're, I'm the mayor here, right? And I am not afraid to cheat to win. Okay, let's just establish this fact. So tomorrow night, I'm going to go to the island and pick up some bugs. I'm gonna pick up some golden stags over there. And then I'll save them for Saturday and be like, Yo, look at this bug I just caught! You're never gonna believe this! And yeah, you can actually do that. That's totally fine. So I will be doing that, and that's how we're going to win. Same works for the fishing contest. Now, the bug off is the third Saturday of, I think, like, June, July, August, September. Maybe it's May, June, July, and August. I don't remember, but... It's along those times, and it's kind of neat. Now, that will be earlier, by the way. It ends at 6 p.m., so I'm going to be streaming at, I think, 3 p.m. Central Time. So right now it's 3.18, so roughly this time. Oh, I got my, my uh, purple roses. That's wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and drop this down here. And I want to get one more purple rose. Actually, I don't have any orange roses right now, do I? I don't. I have a whole bunch of pink roses. So let me also take some of these. Oh, I don't really have a lot of room. Hmm. Let's see. I want to separate them from the rest. If I do it like this, it should be fine. Okay, need yellow roses. Put these right here. Because you have to breed the purple roses with orange roses to get hybrid red roses. And then with those, you have to breed two of them together. In order to possibly get- Oh, I don't have my watering can, that's right. I put that thing away. It's too dangerous! Hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, I do have some money, at least. That's kind of nice. Oh, I have a gyroid! I need to send that to, uh, to Goldie. I bet you she'd like that. Vaulting horse. I'll hold on to that for later. Shoot, I don't really want to get rid of any of this stuff. I think I'll put the pitfall away. Oh, I have my diving suit, too. We should go diving at some point. I don't know if I want to do that right now, though. Okay, let me just get my watering can. Telescope. You know what? I'm just going to sell the telescope. Just going to sell them. All right. Link BOTW Alex asking, are the characters at the bottom the residents of your town? Yep. They are who lives here. You can have up to 10 villagers in your town. It's pretty neat. And you can interact with them and stuff. All right, PK Bubbles saying, hey, Maryland, greetings from Poland. And I, oh my gosh. All right, this is gonna be tough to pronounce. I do not know Polish. My grandmother's Polish, but I could probably just call her up and say, hey, all right, how do, how do I say this? But I'm gonna give it a go. Dzień uh, dobry? I tried! I tried! I'm not making my grandmother proud. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Uh, we're gonna order that. Love that purple rose. That looks beautiful. Definitely need to get more of those. You can get purple roses by two white roses together. Hey, PK people saying not bad. Hey! That's better than I thought. Uh, I guess I'm better at Polish than French. Oh, I cannot figure French out for the life of me. Hmm. Let's see. I have all these fossils. I have these bugs. 
I should probably... Let's go to the museum. I'll go to the museum in a moment. I want to go over and see if there are any fossils over by Olaf's house. Nope, they're not. They are not. Hmm. Hey, 100 bits from Jedi Aster. How's it going, buddy? Thanks so much for the bits. That is some big service. Good to see you on the Discord earlier, too. Oh, man. Yeah. Here we go. This is the last fossil I need for today. Four of them will spawn in your town. Per day, along with the pitfall. I've been stockpiling my pitfalls. I have to unleash them on Olaf. Okie dokie. Let's see. I don't think there was any. Oh, right. It's still closed. Man, he just ran off on me. He was going to build something, but I don't see him. Hmm. What the heck? What is on your mind, Blathers? You're never awake at this time of day. And what happened to your wing? Is it broken or something? Uh, who? Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, why, Mayor, I was just trying my best to solve a dilemma, but I must admit I'm fairly stuck. Oh, may I ask your thoughts on the matter? Though our collection has grown, our museum just isn't drawing the attendance I'd hoped for. I know the very thing that will bring more visitors, of course. The museum must be remodeled. We have a second floor that is going unused at the moment. It would be perfect for something fresh. Oh yes, what we need is an exhibit space where everyone in Cheville can display what they want. Now, my dilemma. As the director here, I have big dreams for our museum, but no bells. I don't have the funds to remodel the museum, but Mayor, this place is a public service, so perhaps maybe we could have this added to the list of public works projects for the town. Would you consider making this a priority for Cheville? As Mayor, you can make this dream come true. I'll tell your secretary, Isabel, in case you'd like to help out. My thanks in advance, Mayor. Woo! All right, that's wonderful. I also got 100 bits from Snake Eye, 1994. Thanks so much for the bits. That is awesome. Uh, okay. So I gotta go ahead and do this. Yeah, so we can get an upgrade to the museum, which is very cool. I think it's a little costly, but thankfully right now I don't have any public works projects going on. Because I kind of wanted to wait until I had more money. Now I'm going to hopefully get more money. Once I sell off my turnips. It's the game plan. Okay, shark tooth and parasaur tail. Splendid. You know, I want to take a look at the uh, fossils over here. I haven't looked over there in a little bit. I feel like I've looked at every exhibit other than that. We looked at the... The uh, other ones, the bugs. Oh, this is looking awesome. T-Rex. We just need a T-Rex tail. Yeah, one of these days, I'm going to start, like, really collecting these. Oh, cool. Parasaurus. The parasaur is known for the distinctive head crest extending from its nose to behind its head. The crest is formed from a hollow bone that was more than a yard in length. Theories hold that it is used to amplify the creature's vocalizations for a variety of reasons. Nice. So we did complete that. Yeah, it's really good to complete your fossils and stuff. I don't remember off the top of my head what it unlocks. I think the golden shovel? I don't remember, but it's good to do. You often get golden stuff. I think actually that's how you get the golden water, not watering can, golden bug net for completing the bugs, which is a pain, and golden fishing rod for completing the fish in the museum, which is also a pain. I Think. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that, but... Oh, a plesiosaur. Well, that's cool. Yeah, um... I mean, this isn't actually as bad as I thought. We at least have two complete collections. And it gives me something to work towards, which is nice. Now, maybe I'll cooperate with some other stuff. Oh, that's right. The golden shovel is from enough fertilizer later on, like with the biggest upgraded shop. That's right. My bad. What the heck do you get with the fossils again? I don't remember. Hmm. Maybe there's nothing and I'm just misremembering. I could have sworn that there was something cool, but maybe not. 
Oh well. I didn't look this stuff up right before streaming because I didn't know I'd be going in here. But again, there's a, a nice little site called Google where you can search for things. How do I get out of here? Hmm. Okie dokie. I'm stuck. Oh no, here we go. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, that's a pain, as Mr. F29 points out. The golden net and fishing rod have to be collected during the fishing and bug catching contests. So, yeah. That's, that's fine. <laughs> okay, that is a pain if they're a while off. Hmm. Oh, well, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. So, I'm just going to sell off some stuff at TNT Mart, because I'm too, too lazy to go on over to uh, retail. Wait, did I check turnip prices? I feel like I didn't, you know. Gotta do that. Oh, it's a lovely chair. And a little hamster wheel. Oh, I gotta give this to Soleil. That'd be amazing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna buy that. Okay, there, perfect. And this, this needs to go in Agnes's house. Shoot, if I would've had that, I been perfect. Hi, Tutu. How are you doing? Uh, oh, how can I help you? All right, I want to sell. Uh, okay. Let's get rid of these butterflies. Lesio torso. Iguanodon torso. I should probably hold on to those at some point. But, not right now. Save them for trades. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. I'm gonna hold on to those. Cause I got so much storage, I'll just do that. And honestly, I make more money from, like, bugs and other things than fossils. That'll help me down the line, too. Oh, let's get rid of this mosquito. Alright, here we go. Also, I guess they only sell for 2,000 each. That's not bad. Flower pop wall. Don't I already have this? I'm pretty sure I do. Whoa, that's rad. I don't think I do. Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? A palace tile. Oh, that's what I saw the other day that I really liked. I'm definitely going to get that. Cool. And I think that's all I need, right? Should I get this lamp? I'm going to buy this lamp. You know what? It does at least help to... Um, I don't do the other stuff. Oh, right, that's right. They're only giving 80% of what I would get. Honestly, it's just convenience. I didn't really, like, I wanted to have inventory space. A few thousand bells here and there, not too big of a deal. But yeah, you do get less money selling at TNT Mart as opposed to retail. So don't take, like, your good stuff there. But if you're doing some shopping and you gotta get rid of some stuff... Alrighty, let's see. Hmm, not really seeing anything that I want at the moment for clothes. What are these? Blue polka shorts. Maybe at least try them on. Nah. I I don't I don't really like it. Hmm. Okay, I need to. Check turnip prices, <laughs> but I want to check over here. Oh, hey, hold on. Got a cat cap. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you know, for those times that you feel like dressing up like a cat. Hey. Uh, I'm definitely buying it. I don't really think I want it, but I do want to have it available. Jockey's home. I don't actually remember seeing this, too. Hmm. See, that could be pretty neat. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this as well. No! Oh, no! Okay, it's fine, though. Watch this. See, this is why I keep letters around. They make perfect temporary storage for stuff. See? Problem solved! Okay, let's go ahead and get this jockey helmet. Because it looks neat. And what is this? Green cap. Actually, I love this white cap, but 
almost thinking this might look a little bit better. Yeah, this looks great with what I'm wearing right now. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one on. It kind of matches my clothes. Yeah, it really does. That's awesome. Okay, and then these oval shades, even though I do like what I got on. I think these look pretty good, too. Oh, I look like a diva. <laughs> uh, sure. And I think I already have that, if I'm not mistaken. Man, I really bought LaBelle out. Jeez. Okay, next up, shoes. I gotta see what kind of shoes they got here. Okay, kicks. What you got for my feet? Hmm. Green shoes. Some slippers. I could go for some slippers right about now. Okay, let me buy that. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, I will wear these things out. You know what I mean. Uh, then we got blue shoes. This is fine. Okay, let's go. I need... I need to figure out what else to do now. Turnip prices, that's a must. Um... Hmm... This is a decent look. Decent look indeed. So... Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe I could go diving. Guess there's time. It's not really an exciting day around town, is it? I mean, I got my purple roses. That's nice. Um, got some fossils. Got the, oh, the public works project. Oh, the delivery. That's right. Okay. I guess Leonardo could have done it himself. My bad. Okay, here you go, Benedict. I was looking for him earlier. Okay, it is a... What is it? Wow, an alarm clock! <laughs> wow! Thanks for going to the trouble of delivering that. Here's a gift to express my appreciation. It's an exotic table. Ooh, that sounds fancy. That's quite exotic, really. Sylvia! Hey, how are you? Oh, what do you have to say? Hey, so people have started calling you boss, right? <laughs> That's nice. It suits you. Can I call you boss, too? Sure! <laughs> That's right. Awesome. Well, might as well get started. Thanks, boss. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> I like it. Okay, great. So, she's joined the club. The Cult of Warder. Okay, let's get this, this uh, museum set up. I don't have the funds for it at the moment, but it doesn't really stop me from doing this. Okay. Oh, right! A ceremony for the Dream Suite. Okay, let's go have a ceremony. I'm fine with that. At the train station. Oh my gosh, GG Graham Cracker saying, The irony of a rooster needing an alarm clock. Oh, that's right. Okay, anyway. Oh, it's so cute. Look, Goldie and uh, Bones are right next to each other. Uh, alright, anyway, so we completed this. This is great. Yay! Okay, yeah. Uh, on to the next project! Yeah! I always like to take screenshots during Public Works Project, uh, ceremonies. Alright, woo! <laughs> nice. Okay, well that worked out quite well, I have to say. Hmm, now the only thing is getting that darn- Whoa! I'm getting attacked! Alright, I know you all want me, but... Okay, let's chat. We have the shovel over there. Oh yeah. Wanna go, Leonardo? Yeah, you and me, buddy. I like how Sylvia's calling me boss now. That's pretty good. She needs some excitement around this town. She's probably like over here in that like, man, that sounds cool. I gotta call him boss. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll talk to me more or do something. She needed some more personality. She's kind of getting there. She's like kind of mean, but 
I don't know. Like, I don't mean to, to, not really, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is, but she seems like maybe one of those more irresponsible mothers, if that kind of makes sense. Maybe not taking care of her kid as much as she should, but still kind of a nice person, just maybe not like the best mother, which kind of seems like a terrible thing for me to be judging someone like that, but 81 bells. What was I at earlier? Hold on a second. The setup. I was at 84 earlier, so that's actually not a bad thing. It is declining at the moment, but it does mean that it could rise to something glorious, which is great. Cool! Alright, let's get out of here then. Yeah, so the Turnip Mafia, we keep track of all of our turnip prices on a master spreadsheet for subscribers in the Discord channel. It's pretty darn awesome. Pretty darn awesome indeed. Trying to get the best prices. But you can keep track of your own prices as well to hopefully get a good deal. All about keeping track of it. You actually want to see the price decrease ever so slightly each day. Uh, well, actually not each day, at each different price point. Because remember, there's two different prices each day. There's your AM price and your PM price. And ideally, you want to see it decrease by between three and six bells for each of those points. And that means you're in either a decreasing pattern, a small spike, or a large spike. You're not really going to be able to tell until you start seeing the price increase. If it doesn't increase, even a little bit, by Thursday afternoon, you are out of luck. G. G. Ah, relaxing. G. G. Three games with a whole bunch of adorable Animal Crossing mode saying hi. This looks like a cool stream. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I just started up this town. I've been playing Animal Crossing for a while though, which is nice. I'm just getting started around these parts. I had Mitzi in my old town of Benchton, which was nice. Oh man, so hmm, what else to do actually? Still have a bit of time. I guess I could do a little bit of diving for stuff. That wouldn't be that bad. Wouldn't mind getting a little bit of money. I only have about 140,000 bells, I think. Not very much. Hmm. Hmm. What are you doing over by Agnes's house? Like and subscribe! <laughs> I hope you carbo loaded today. It's all about the carbs, Flexin. I delivered it! Didn't you see it? Okay, so yeah, let's see. Sweet, you got a reward for all your trouble. Sheesh, now I wish I would have made the delivery myself. You were right there, but oh wow, well, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Oh, my perfect peaches are done. Oh, well, maybe I should do a little bit of, oh my gosh, that's right, my inventory. Oh, where have I gone wrong? Okay. I need to dump some stuff off somewhere, right? Well, not at Agnes's house. Let's actually go over here and do that. Maybe it'd be a good idea to do a little bit of tree trimming, too. Get rid of some trees that aren't making fruit and replace them with trees that are. There's also another thing I guess I could do. I could probably... Gosh, I got so many turnips. Uh, let's just set up some of the stuff here. Exotic table. That actually would probably look pretty nice. Fossils. Right, I'm like, wait, I'm missing a fossil, but no, I, I had another one. That's right, I'm just gonna put this stuff here for right now. I don't really care. I can always sort it out later. Oh my gosh, Beautiful Days 4 is saying... When Leonardo asks for a new greeting, make it, can we get one trillion likes? <laughs> yeah, one trillion likes. That'd be insane. Okay, um, I'm gonna need to buy an axe. I'm gonna go through with this. Let's see. 
on more bits from Jedi Aster. That's awesome. Thank you so much for the bits. Dealing damage to Auntie. Um, hi, Leaf. Oh, man, he's not selling an axe. I have axes. It's not a problem, but they don't last forever. I think BOTW Alex asking if you get, or if, or will you get Animal Crossing on the Switch if it gets announced? Oh, heck yeah. I don't have a Switch, but that'd probably be the thing that would make me get one. I mean, I'm looking forward to the mobile one, but, oh, there's Cesar. Hey, what's Your going on? Yo, word, what a coincidence running into you today, oh, Highness. Monkey. So, what's up? All right, what's the latest? <laughs> this place is so convenient, but it's got its limitations, don't you think, Highness? Uh-huh. Campbellon saying, buy a sapling every day, yo. Golden axe after 50. Oh, that's right! I keep thinking that it was... I had to wait till the upgraded shop for that, but that's the... the other thing. Oh, nice. All right, I gotta do that. Then maybe by day 65, I'll do that. Shoot, I didn't do that in a timely manner on my old game, and I really regret it. I need to get started on that right away. Right away. All right, I'm back. Let's do this. Such a long time, too. 50 saplings, ugh. I feel like I already bought one. Hmm. Okay. 50 flowers for the watering can? No. No, you get the golden watering can from having a perfect town for, I think, 15 days in a row. At least in this game. Hmm. Okay, let's see. So I have this. I need to get that other axe. Oh, 50 flowers gets you the silver watering can. Oh, that's right. Okay, I should probably get on that too because I definitely want to collect things. And even though the golden watering can, I think it's probably easier to get. I don't think I've ever gotten the silver watering can because you don't even get any good flowers from here. So we'll just have to buy leaf, buy leaf stuff every day. Whether I like it or not, I can't believe you get three of the golden tools. Well, two of the golden tools and one of the silver tools from him. Alright, thanks, pal. Oh, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I would like it for the catalog and just for item completion. No way am I gonna be able to complete every item in this game, but... I'd like to at least get as much as I can. That'd be nice. Okay, but I don't want this stuff. So I'm gonna give it to you. Just a waste of money, I tell ya. Just a waste of money. In fact, for that matter, I probably should start focusing on buying a lot of miscellaneous things just for completion. Uh, Animus0808 saying, I always thought Leaf was a girl. You know, I think I did as well for the longest time, and then I think I remember seeing them, like, refer to Leaf as he or something, so I think I just went with that. I might be mistaken, too. But I seem to recall that. I thought that as well, but it's all good. Unfortunately, with special, like NPCs, they don't really say. Otherwise, you can tell if they're a boy or a girl from the color of their name in any of the text bubbles. Wait, I want to sell you my beans. Uh, I might use this weathered paper later, though. All right, let's get out of here. Mr. F29 saying, I've been playing for four years and still do not have perfect town status. It does take a lot. Got to have a lot of public works projects up, too. Okay. Snake Eyes saying, all the way, or all the my waiting to join this. Join in on this, I expect 600 bells per turnip. <laughs> You'll probably get it eventually, I have a feeling. 
I have a feeling. Hmm. So I need to get that axe, and I gotta chop down some trees, but I wouldn't mind shaking some trees, so... Good thing to do. Be ready. I don't have a bee yet, you know? That's something I haven't actually seen. They were hilarious when they happened. <laughs> um... Okay. Oh, Shiny Misty saying, and there's a character that is one gender in Japanese and another in the other regions, right? Yeah, actually, there. I think there's actually two. If I'm not mistaken, in the Japanese version, Sahara is male, as well as Gracie. We've not seen Gracie in this series yet, but I'm pretty sure those two are actually guys in the Japanese version, and they changed it in localization. Like they changed Vivian and Birdo in the Mario series. Probably a few others. Huh. Now you can get some stuff in trees. I don't actually know why I'm shaking trees. I guess if I'm going to be chopping them down, I feel like I should hear them scream a little first. Oh, there's a bee. Got it. We're good. They actually look more like bats. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, if these things get you... Your eyes will get stung, and then it's just kind of embarrassing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. It's all good, but I wanted to get that. Oh, something fell from the tree. I wonder what it is. Yeah, you can sometimes find furniture in trees. An alarm clock. Benedict, why did you throw your alarm clock in the tree? I just gave it to you. Or <laughs> I didn't give it to you. Leonardo gave it to you. I delivered it, but... Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I can just imagine him like, Alarm clock? What do I need this for? <laughs> just throw it in a tree. That's exactly what happened. I mean, he is a rooster. I just need an alarm clock. Okay, so we got the bee. That's good. That is good. Um, I need... I need to get some more furniture, just because I want to get something new. Or maybe even get stung by a bee. Wouldn't mind seeing that, just for laughs. Okay, this is- this isn't going right. This isn't going right! I- I need to just chop these down. Okay, so what trees am I gonna chop down? Actually, where's Olaf? I have not seen him. Around here. Jeez, everyone keeps leaving their coins in the tree. Oh, see, yeah, Benedict has the right idea. Maybe he's looking for that alarm clock. I <laughs> uh, found it, buddy. Cool, it's water. Cuckoo. All right, what's up? Your Sunday tank looks just like a frozen treat. So sweet and so cool. Oh, you're giving me a case of brain freeze. Cuckoo. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, I was getting kind of spacey on days like today. Is the cloudiness outside making my brain cloudy, too? Yeah, that's probably it. I guess it is kind of cloudy, huh? Hmm. Hmm. These trees are boring. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's a thing. <laughs> it's a spider. Yeah, my net is kind of like a web, right? Yeah, kind of. I'm thinking about it. Cool. Yeah, that's the other thing I was totally looking for. Totally 100% intentional. Am I right? Oh yeah, I'm very right. <laughs> okay, 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 enough of this. Let's go back to the museum. Let's drop off the stuff. And then, actually, wait, what's this pond in the, or what's this fish in the pond? I was like, what's this pond in the fish? No, that doesn't sound right. What is this fish over here? Oh, come on. What is that? Oh, yeah. Give me something good. It's a frog. Didn't look like a frog. Jeez. Okay. Should probably get rid of that thing. Hmm. All right. I need to donate the new stuff I got. I wonder who's going to move out. That's the big thing. Someone will move out at some point. Just a matter of who will be the first to leave. Okay, I've got some stuff for you. I hope it's Olaf. 
I don't want him here. He needs to go away. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my gosh, Mr. F29 saying, as a French person, that frog makes me hungry. The rumors are true! <laughs> oh. I'm a vegetarian, so I don't eat fish or meat or stuff like that, but if I weren't, I wonder if I'd eat frog. I actually don't know. I, I really don't. Okay. Could write some letters. Chop down some trees. That's what I gotta do. We gotta get more of these perfect peaches around here. Now, what if I had a nice row of perfect peaches in the back? Like, kind of where they're over right now. Robbie Zoo asking you, eat eggs and drink milk, correct? Yes! Uh, Lacto-ovo vegetarian, I think, is the technical, technical term. Um... Okay, so let me get that axe. I'll get both axes just in case. Wait, where is my other axe? Okay, there it is. Everything's fine! We're good. We're good! Okay, let's go ahead and... Chop down some trees. Oh, baby. All right, we'll use this rusty axe first. So, if I kind of set up a nice line of trees here, that'd be nice. I don't remember what this one is. I think that's something. And I know this is persimmon. So, I want to leave that there. But let's chop down this tree. I don't need this. Get out of here. And that should be good, actually. Okay, so we'll just kind of plant a whole bunch of trees over here. Let's see, Bacon Weasel saying, put paths next to them. Well, the downside with that is, actually, maybe that wouldn't matter. I want to make sure that I'll be able to get all the peaches as I'm picking them, too. The only way I could put a path there is, like, right here. Otherwise, maybe they would fall to the back. I think, otherwise, if there were a path right here, these two would go on the sides. And then the middle one up top would fall, like, into the path and disintegrate. So, not ideal for paths. I have just a path going over here. And in the future, I can always just expand this somewhere else, too. Like, I just think for right now, until I set down some paths, don't really need it. Oh, man, my pockets are full already. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's do something about that. All right, that should help. So Lafara's saying, test it with normal peaches. Sure, I'll go ahead and test that out. I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about here. Okay. I don't really have any good paths right now in this town. So... Terrible reach there, Porter. Good job. Okay, yeah, this will look nice. Even though I'm generally not a fan of very precise looking tree placement. But I think in this case, it turns it into like a little peach orchard or something. Which is a cool look. I think given this, and there's probably going to be a villager that's going to plant their house right here someday. But, I don't think it's a problem. Actually, I feel like this is more than nine, isn't it? Yeah, it's ten. Okay, that's fine. Actually, I might even have room for more, but it shouldn't be an issue. Okay, let's go ahead and bury this. And this. And this, yeah, this way we'll have plenty of these peaches growing. It's a good idea to do that, even though, again, turnips, they're my main squeeze for money, but these make great gifts, and they're really good if you bring them over other towns. Like, you can make, I don't know, 100, 200k, something like that, depending on how much you bring. It adds up. 
Great if you don't get in the turnip business, by the way. Now, I'm not sure these are going to grow. I think they will, but I'm a little worried they're just a tad close to the house. I think it works. Okay, that's that, but I think I have access to more. Oh, hey, what's up, Bones? Hey, I have an important question for you. Do you like sweet or spicy food better, boss? Uh... Oh, man, I like them both a lot. I can't really pick. I like spicy. I really like it hot. I like spicy stuff, too. Especially curry that's so hot it makes you sweat and cry at the same time. Oh, man, that's my boy. Yeah. Whew. I'm getting sweaty and hungry just thinking about it. Shoo. Yeah. We're curry buddies. Sun's pretty high right now. Even I'm not sleeping anymore. Uh, so anyway, I did need something. Oh, right. The golden a rainbow stag. Oh, my gosh. That's at, like, five, right? I don't want to stream that long just to get a rainbow stag for her. Gosh darn it. Hmm. That's something maybe I'll just do off camera. Like, I'm not opposed to maybe doing that. Just, I don't want to have to wait around. And then I don't want to just pop on a stream just to do that. Because that's like, eh. <laughs> okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll have to give that a little bit of thought. Okay, let's get some of these perfect peaches. Now, one thing I should do, I should put maybe like one or two, oops. One or two perfect peaches in storage, just so I have one as an emergency peach, which might actually help more than you'd think. Oh, I also want to build a path down here. Speaking of paths, let's test this out, okay? So, what I was thinking is, if we had a path right here, let's say just along this line, And then it would probably be too tall. So... It would be something kind of like this. So if I were to shake this, then, as you can see, the middle peach just disintegrates right there. The other two kind of fall off to the side. So, we either need to not have one at every tree point, but that would look kind of weird. Or just not use paths over there. Either works, but it's kind of one of those things. The downside of paths. Okay, I'm kind of hungry, though. These peaches, they are making me hungry. <laughs> ah, peachy. Yum. Okay, perfect. Well, actually, it wasn't perfect. This one's perfect. Uh, can I shake you, please? There we go. Hmm. Oh, it's four. Nice. Like, where'd the music go? Oh, it's raining! Wonderful! Well, maybe I'll go see if I can find a coelacanth. Maybe this time I'll actually get lucky. I searched so hard yesterday for coelacanth that I could not find one. It was so sad. Goldie! This rain does not want to stop. It just started! <laughs> Don't be so pessimistic! Uh, this Saturday is the bug off. I need to start preparing my habit jar or my habitat jars to hold interesting species. Yes, you do. Oh, what? Hello, order. Sylvia and I were just talking about the best methods for growing flowers. Weren't we just talking? Sylvia has a green thumb when it comes to flowers. She's amazing. Is that so? Yep, I'd say my blooms are the best in town. Flowers seem to reward you for nurturing them. Ahem. I know just what you mean. If you give your flowers lots of love, it feels like it comes back to you. I love it when villagers talk! It's great! I didn't even realize they were doing that, though. Uh, don't forget to water your flowers, or they're not gonna last long, and I'll hold you responsible. Yes, ma'am. That's what I like to hear. Boss, you got spirit, kid. Wait, are they happy? 
No, Benedict's happy. Oh, what? And Leonardo's not! <laughs> they must have been talking too! This is something I always hum to myself at night. It's so beautiful, it'll make you cry. It's a town tune of Iki, the place where I used to live. I'm gonna hum it for you, so get a handkerchief ready, Werder. And a one and a two and a one, two, three. Oh man, I'm just so sad over that. Oh, he left the mooncake behind though. Leonardo, buddy, what's what's wrong? Was Benedict trolling you? Man, come on, I've gotta get over this. Oh, yeah, they can sometimes talk and fight, too. <laughs> oh, Benedict's a bully! Are you seeing that? That's what's going on here. That's definitely what's going on. Hmm, okay, so I have all these other perfect peaches. I want to hold on to a few of them, but I would like to put some more throughout town. I think these are perfect peaches, too. No, those are oranges. Okay, yeah, there is a tree growing there. I should be fine. Huh. Oh, he's already over it. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, he's, he's better. <laughs> I don't know when the weather's like this. You can do weight training or just stay inside and watch sports. SPORTS! Can't always look at the ground, so I just gotta look to the stars. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, he's upset about the alarm clock thing. It's probably it. Hmm. Well, what if I put some of those... Actually, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of those over by... What's-his-face's house? Olaf's. Over here, I think. See, like this tree. We don't need this tree here. Where's my old axe? Here we go. Wah! Oh, sorry! <laughs> Didn't mean to knock a tree out of your house, Agnes. Jeez. Or trees, rather. Uh, Alright, let's get rid of this thing. Well, that just kind of happens, you know. I am the town lumberjack after all. I kind of look like a lumberjack right about now, you know? Okay, yeah, we can put one more right here. And one there. Oh, this is so precise. It's going to be freaking me out. Maybe that should be a theme for Cheville. Because I know for Benchton, I like the more natural look. But maybe having it look very planned and orderly. But not too planned. I don't want it to be like, all right, I'm putting these villagers in these specific spots. Thanks to pads and stuff. I mean, it's cool to do that, but I kind of like just... Seeing where they end up. Okay, so now we have the nice walk of trees here. I do have enough to put a tree right here as well, though... Yeah, that should be fine. No, actually that's not going to be fine, because I wouldn't mind having just a very small path along the waterfront here. Oh, but I bet you I could put one right here. That should be fine. Okay, cool. And I'm going to save the rest of these perfect peaches for later. Just in case someone requests one, or someone needs one, or something like that. Alright, let's see. So, I'll put those away. Alarm clock. I feel like I need that. I'll sort this stuff out later. I got stuff I gotta do. Oh, right, and I have things in my inventory here. Or my second inventory. Okay, I'll put this stuff away. We'll do a little bit of coelacanth fishing. And then... kind of cross my fingers all right that looks good okay let's put this hundred bell thing away
Alrighty, now. Hmm. Coelocanth. Oh my gosh. Will I get my revenge? That's what I want to know. Hey, Bones, how you doing? Have you eaten anything recently? If you keep playing like this, you're going to get tired. Uh-huh. I, I ate before the stream, don't worry. Say, so what do you think of my outfit, boss? Dude, it looks awesome. Awesome, I finally achieved my lifelong dream of looking cool. I'm going to snack on some banana bread to celebrate. All right, well, you go do that. <laughs> I love how he calls me boss. It's really great. It's so funny. Okay, this tree right here needs to go. And I put away my axe. Gosh darn it. Well, it's not a big deal. No villager is going to be uh, leaving anytime soon. We have like 10 days or something stupid before they'll leave. Shark! Come here, shark. Look at it. Look, oh nope. Okay, here. Do you wanna? Come on. Come on, take it. Yeah! Oh, it's a real shark! <laughs> I didn't think it'd actually be a real shark. Nice. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's secret area over there. I gotta, like, plant some cool flowers or something. I was thinking that'd be an ocean sunfish or something. Oh, I gotta scare these fish away. I need to, to see the mother of all fish, the coelacanth here. Well, maybe catching that shark is a good sign that I'm ready for the coelacanth. I did not have very good luck with it last time. Oh, I spent like 30 minutes or something looking. Or maybe it wasn't 30 minutes. It was a lot of time. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Still not seeing anything. Gosh darn it. Ah! Show your face! Things are rare. <laughs> oh, man. But I need to get one eventually. I do. Rather get it done now than later. They're a big looking fish too. Well, we'll find it one way or the other. Hmm. So, who should I write a letter to today? I feel like I should write a letter to Goldie and Soleil. I think that'd be kind of nice. I know Goldie needs a gyroid, and I want to give Soleil that hamster wheel I got, just because I think that'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I think that'd be really funny. Oh, there's a shark. Come on. Oh, it's too slow. Oh, well, I'm just glad I got the first shark, to be honest. Mmm, that looks like a bass. I think it's even larger than that. <laughs> Write a letter to Benedict. Send him the alarm clock. I probably should do that in thinking about it. I don't think I sent anything to Benedict, did I? Hmm. That would be really funny. Well, I did just write Goldie the other day, so maybe I'll hold on to that for later. I think I'll send a letter to Benedict. And to Soleil. Give Soleil the hamster wheel and Benedict the alarm clock. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, let's see. There's another shark. Let me get this. Beauty. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Another shark! Well, that's a big shark, too. 249 inches. I want to hold that thing for later. 
I should probably hold on to that for the fishing tourney, too. Because that is a nice thing to give to the fishing tourney. Hmm. Eight. Go. Cool. Sharks. I need sharks. I need coelacanth. Yeah, isn't this fun? Oh my gosh. This is fun. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I feel like I was just doing this too, and I didn't, I don't even think I saw a coelacanth. Which is a shame. Like, we'll give this a little bit of time. Maybe I should write the letters first and then come back and do this later. Uh. Uh. I'm trying to think if there's any other fish I need at the moment, though. That probably would be smart to look up the fish I need, because we're almost halfway through June. And I'm not entirely sure which, uh... Did that thing go away? I'm not entirely sure which June fish there are. But I want to make sure that I get all the June fish before June is over. we still got plenty of time for it. But I figured, you know... Just being on the lookout, rather than waiting until the next day. Uh, let's see. I'm seeing that someone has 608 bells per turnip right now, which I find very hard to believe, because even with a time zone difference, that would be on a Tuesday. And it's... I don't even know if they spike on Tuesdays, so just gonna ask, play legit. If that's the case. Um, like, if you're time traveling just to find good bell prices, Turnip Mafia doesn't work that way. But I may be mistaken. It's just that would mean like the super early spike. Just seems a little on the fishy side. I know some people, they like find a good turnip price and then just kind of stick with that. Wait, is that a... I think that's a bass, but I'm going to go for it because I'm really getting hopeless here. That's a bass. Yep, it is. Okay, um... I just want to get rid of this thing. See, little canth. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I should see what other uh, fish I can even find here. That'd be a nice thing to do. Just to make sure that I'm not accidentally scaring away any that I might actually be needing here. Because I do need some. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Man, all this work to find one fish. Alright, get out of here. Things a pain. Does happen though, but hmm. 
Hmm. Well, let's see. I'll have to take a look at what happened at E3 while this is going on. Apparently that Mario and Rabbids thing. <laughs> the best kept secret, of course. It got uh, announced, I think. I still don't know what the heck that's all about. I never played a Rabbids game, so I don't really know what to, what to think about that. I'm kind of impartial, I guess. Looks kind of weird. Um, I can get to that fish to scare it away. Darn it. I don't feel like switching to my net. Uh, that's probably a sea bass. Like, seriously, these coelacanth are much larger than that, from what I recall. Much larger. Oh, yeah, Minecraft. Or, like, all consoles. Stuff, and the Windows 10 version. I'm kind of torn on that. We'll have to see. I guess, for all intents and purposes, that is sort of Minecraft 2. Realistically. It'd be neat to play Unified, regardless of whether you're playing on Switch or Windows 10 version or what. But I'll probably still stick to Minecraft for Java. Hmm. Man, I've been looking for almost 20 minutes now, and I haven't seen a single one. Not one. I've gotten two sharks. Saw a third, but... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> oh, it just like appeared out of nowhere. Oh, that was my bad. It happens. Reaction things, you know. Let's get that like, all right, it's gonna do it and then, yeah. Because with sharks, you really have to react fast. That's why I usually like to just listen for it. Because sometimes visuals, they can just mess with you, but I haven't had a lot of luck with just listening either. Okay, there's another shark. Great. Oh, there's another fish that's not quite as big, so... Come here. Oh my gosh! First one. Uh, see, that's like why you have to be so, so quick with that, because they can pull stuff like that just out of the blue. Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's, uh, let's do some more of this. At this rate, I'm going to be able to go to the island and find a rainbow stag before end this stream. Wanted to do something a little more interesting. But, like, the coelacanth is something that's been eluding me for such a long time. And it only shows up in the rain. And, yeah, that's not it. That is surely not it. This thing is, like, massive, too. Oh, my gosh. Driving me crazy right about now. That's what it's doing. Driving me crazy. That, that's a sea bass. Right there. That sea bass. See? Bass! Alright. <laughs> it's bigger than that. Um, a lot bigger, if I recall. Hmm. I miss diamonds, by the way. Just saying. Oh, my bad. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait. Hmm. Looks still a little small. Getting desperate here. Nope. I don't care. Go away. Hmm. 
One of these days. One of these days. I'm trying to remember how long it took me over in my wait. Oh no, never mind. That's a shadow. <laughs> I thought like, uh like the wave that was rippling, it made that thing look enormous. Like I couldn't even see the bottom of it, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Apparently the coelacanth is more narrow. Hmm. I don't think that's it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'll just try to catch stuff that look like sea bass. We'll just see what happens. I might just be misremembering, too. We're thinking too much of the GameCube version. It looked enormous on that. Oh, jeez. Darn right scary, I tell you. Hmm. Well, shout outs to everyone who's still tuning in for this. <laughs> I feel like it's just got to be the least entertaining video out there. All these things you could be doing right now. And what are you doing? You're watching Maryland run back and forth on a beach, scaring away fish. Isn't that exciting? Oh, man, that is the pinnacle of excitement right about now. The pinnacle of excitement. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's... That's what we gotta do. But again, goals, you know? I'm all about them goals. Gotta get that coelacanth sometime. And it only appears in the rain. So I feel like, uh, you know, should probably make the most of this. And strike while the iron's hot, so to speak. Or while the water's wet, maybe? Hmm. I don't know, that doesn't sound right either. Go away, go. I'm <laughs> just scaring all the fish. 100 bits from Jedi Aster! Thank you so much more for the bits! Keep me encouraged throughout this whole process. Don't give up! <laughs> Gotta get that coelacanth! Oh man, it will show its face eventually, and it'll feel great. I look like a fisherman right now. I know I did yesterday, but like, even more so now. The green hat really makes it. I feel like I just need a jacket or something and I'm good, but it's so hot around here in Chaville right now. I feel like we need a weather forecaster, too. Oh, what? Okay, this is gonna be... I don't... I don't know if I can even get there in time. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go. I don't have a slingshot, by the way. Hmm? Wait, am I even going to be able to get over to it? Oh, it's gonna fall in the river. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. It was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Whatever. How it goes. Story of my life. I'm probably gonna come back over here and find that coelacanth here. Hey! A weapon that can surpass Metal Gear? Nice. Yeah! These beans are great! Okay, I need to reorder these beans, though. Gotta put them next to the net. Um, this isn't right. Okay, I got an idea. Right, we'll put that away. Okay, that means... Is that right? That thing... Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. Go away. So now I can just toss beans at things. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't need to worry about running anymore. Go away. Does it work on bugs? Dude, it works on bugs! These beans are OP! So strong. 
so strong. Okay, Snake Eye asking if I have ever tried collecting all the rare tree stump patterns. I can't say I've ever tried collecting them, but that would be fun to set up a little collection. Ooh. This is probably a sea bass, but I think it's a sea bass. Go for it. Oh. It was a coelacanth. Just watch. I'm sure of it now. Really just rattled me. Hmm. Okay, let's switch back to the beans. The power of beans. It starts with bean leaving. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Nothing down there. Ninja nerd. Ninja, yeah, Ninja, Ninja Nerd D. I can't read this right. Ninja Nerd X. Oh, there we go. Saying so cool to finally get to see Marilyn live. It makes it more special. It's on my birthday. Well, awesome. Happy birthday to you. Hopefully, you're having a good day. Hopefully, you're not having to find Coelacanth like I am. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I. It's been almost a half hour now. Almost a half hour. Go away. Whoa! <laughs> so much salt! Oh, that's gonna go great on that coelacan. Thanks so much for all the salty bits there, Jedi Aster. Dang, that's some big service. Oh, the salt. The salt is real. Oh, man. The struggle. The coelacan struggle. But at least we got some good seasoning for it whenever we do find it. We got lots of salt. Oh man, thank you so much for that. That is awesome. Okay, let's see. Let's see Locanth, actually. Oh, where are you? Saying the salt is strong in this one. <laughs> yep. Oh, you got the, the fancy badge now. That's awesome. Yeah, I like that. You had the green one before. Now it's like the... What even is that? Like the shiny gold kind of looking one. That is nice. Sweet. I need to get some custom bit badges. That needs to happen. I just, I'm trying to think what would be good for that. Originally, I was thinking it would look great. Actually, wait a second. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Like, I could have a little Meryl. And then it'd look really awesome next to the Meryl tail in the chat. But I don't know how I'd come up with that many different Merrells. Hmm. So... I don't know, because it'd be really cool having, like, the subscriber badge as the tail, and then, like, the Meryl as the, the bit badge. That's a very small fish. Uh, I'm not doing Pokeballs, because, like, everyone does those. I mean, I could do, like, Shiny Meryl. I could do, like, maybe Meryl with different color heart or something. I, I don't even know. Hey, I found a clownfish. I already had one though. Hmm. I mean, I could kind of match them up with the colors of the subscriber loyalty badges too. Could be neat. Kind of weird seeing a red Meryl though. <laughs> I could have them doing different things too. I don't know, so many different options. Like, that is something I'm thinking about. I also need to think of some more emotes and just, like, kind of get to work on them, too. I started working on, like, a sad Meryl emote that I think would look kind of neat. Because I realized, in looking through the selection of emotes that I offer for subscribers, I don't have any just kind of generic, oh, so sad, or, you know, like, feels emotes. So having, like, a crying Meryl... I started drawing that, and I think it looked kind of neat. But I need to... Oh. 
Just watch. That would have been a coelacanth showing up there. I need to not throw the fish away. I mean, that one wasn't, but I can just see it that... Uh... Hmm... Well, I'll give it some thought. I know I need a worder emote. That'd be pretty cool. That needs to happen. Gotta have a worder. I don't want to just take like a sprite and use that. Like, I'm definitely more of a fan of using something original. Even if, you know, it means like drawing it myself. Or getting someone to do it, too. I'm not averse to that. I have a few people in mind. I just... I possess some artistic talent. So, I'm able to draw. Might as well. I'm gonna close my eyes. Okay. Just a sea bass, but... Yup! Because I would have missed it. I felt like I was off on timing. Oh, well. Ooh, maybe that. Actually, that does look kind of long and narrow. Hold up. This might be it. Alright, eyes closed. Oh, man, my bad. Okay, uh, that was probably it, you know. Shoot! It did look a little different. Whoa! That's probably it. Holy moly, that is a long fish! Okay, this has got to be the coelacanth. Don't mess it up. Okay, this is it. I got it. Because it won't bite more than five times. Yeah! <laughs> Holy fish sticks! <laughs> nice! I caught a coelacanth! Am I saying it right? Okay, jeez. Okay, that took an eternity. Ugh, actually it took like 33 minutes, but man. Okay, so it doesn't look quite as big as I thought, but yeah, it's longer. It's like, oh, there's another one. That That's what the coelacanth looks like right there. Here, come a little closer here. So I can get a picture of you for reference. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, come back. Come back. Oh, that was great. What the heck? Hey. Hey now. Come on. Take the bait. Oh, you're not even interested in it. Hmm. This is a coelacanth and I get it. I'm gonna be just crying. Hey! There. Come on, coelacanth! Oh, baby! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Jeez! Two in a row now! Where were they a little bit ago, huh? Man! Oh, jeez! The struggle! Ugh! And a shark! Alright, well, let's get the shark. Just for good measure here. I'm going to hold on to this coelacanth rather than sell it, because even though I could make a lot of money from it, just on the off chance someone's like, hey, could you go get me a coelacanth? I'd be like, yeah, sure, no problem. Let me just go to my storage bin. Get that. Because it just saves you a hassle. I'm making my money from turnips right about now. That's not a coelacanth. See, it's not long enough. That's what it is. Hmm, uh, Bacon Weasel's saying, give it as a gift to whoever's town you sell turnips at. You know, I'm gonna say no, and the reason is, something you gotta do yourself. It's like a quest, you know. Shouldn't be the king paying the knights to slay the dragon. You gotta be the knight that goes out and slays that dragon. Wait, why am I still looking for coelacanth? I guess is the better question. I already have one. Okay, well, whatever. Actually, I have two. What am I talking about? Oh, baby. 
Okay, well, that's great. Uh, let's see. I'm seeing you can't gift fish anyway in the chat by Voldecor. I don't mean like that. I'm like, if one of the villagers says, Yo, could you, uh, could you please, you know... Oh, right, you can't drop fish on the ground anyway, so yeah, there's no way that I could give that to someone. Good point. Good point! They gotta do it themselves. But yeah, mainly I just want to hold on to it just for those instances where a villager asks, Yo, would you be willing to do this? Oh, Shiny Misty saying, put it in my room. That's a nice idea. I like that. Oh, jeez, that was a struggle. But you know what? I don't ever have to worry about catching a coelacanth again. Never. Well, hopefully never. I'll keep this one as a spare. Just in case. I'll, like, donate one, and then I'll save one as a spare. And then... I'll do the same with the sharks, too. How does the coelacanth remind you of a time when you were a baby? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. I, you know, maybe I should take a trip to the island. I don't know. I could do that. wasn't planning on streaming for that long, but did accomplish what I needed to accomplish today. So I might just do that. Hmm, but I'm running out of things to do around here, so we got a few options. We got wetsuits, we got random dream suites, or we got, I don't know, a few other options here and there. Let me know what you guys want to see. Right now, I'm going to put the coelacanth in my house. Hey, Ninja Nerd XO just subscribed. That is awesome and some big service, especially since it's your birthday. Thank you so much. For subscribing, that is awesome. That is awesome. Big service right there. Glad you had a chance to tune on in as well. Hopefully you're having a good day. Hmm. Oh yeah, letters. I'll do the letters and then we'll figure out what to do. If I want to do some exploring. Uh, okay. Now I'm kind of thinking I could put the coelacanth up here. I think that sounds because I think it's two. Yeah. Oh, look at that monster right there. That's perfect. We're going to leave that there for a while. Um, so I have this stereo. I guess I could set down here. Like it there, though. Then I have the pie. So let's actually move this thing. Because that doesn't look very inviting. Whereas this looks quite inviting. You know, nice slice of pie. That's great. That is great. Um, what else do I have around here? The white pot. Do I need to set that up anywhere? I don't know if I even need to set it up anywhere, really. Maybe it'll look nice upstairs. Maybe, just maybe. Let's take a look. Uh... I'm gonna say no. There's just not a lot of room up here. Gotta get this expanded at some point. Well, for right now, I'm gonna put some fish in this heart one here. So I'll kind of have them for later. And I'm just gonna sell that white pot, or I'll give it to someone, that'd be good. Okay, so speaking of give to someone, I gotta go get the items that I need to send and the letter, the stationery, to send it with. Okay, I'm here to dance, saying I watched your ACNL YouTube videos a year ago and loved them. I'm so happy to see you here today. Well, that's great. That is awesome. So glad to have you here, then. Um, yeah, so a year ago. Wow, so did you watch them, like, as archives without watching them live? Because I think I wrapped up the series last year. That'd be really interesting. I'd love to hear that, if that's the case. Because, again, that's on my second channel, but I hadn't really done with it. But it's entirely possible you may have run across it and kind of done some binge watching of it as well I don't know I just like to know this kind of stuff um because it's cool like it's an old series of mine but it was fun like I liked it a lot 
Uh, let's see. I'm here to dance saying it wasn't on Twitch back then, so watch all on YouTube. Oh, that's awesome. Really cool. And Erupted Camera up saying the same as well. I did the same. Uh, never watched them live, but also watched the Benchin series about a year ago. Wow, that's really cool. I know that it was definitely one of those things that was pretty fun streaming live, but I wasn't sure how well it would work out afterwards. I feel like this is even better as far as, like, presentation and stuff goes, and it's, uh, it's pretty neat. But Benchton definitely has a place in my heart. I'm looking forward to going to Benchton someday. That will be happening, just in case you were wondering. Um, all right, alarm clock. Where did I put that alarm clock? Uh-oh. Where did that thing go? Okay, we got it. Everything's fine. Um, hmm. Oh, random saying is the Christmas mystery that got me watching. Yeah. I really wish I would have played that all the way through. Because it was one of those things that I had such great intentions for. But I just didn't really get around to it. And, like, I was really busy at the time. It was one of those things I just, I couldn't really do what I wanted to do at the time I had. And it just kind of fell to the wayside. But it was a clever concept. Maybe we can revisit it someday. And, uh... Get Detective Devin back on the case. Uh, let's see. I didn't mention who I kind of thought it would be. Because I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to leave that totally unanswered for everyone. But it was, uh, it's pretty neat. Okay, I need to get... Gosh darn it, I gotta get the letters. So I think what I'll do, I think I'll check out a few dream suites, which will be neat. Uh, I'll probably do a random one, and then I'll probably do one in the chat, which will be fun. And then I'll go over to the island. Gosh darn it. Hopefully you guys like these two-hour streams. <laughs> uh, they're, they're pretty fun. They're a lot of time, but... They, uh, they're, they're enjoyable. Like, I don't mind. There's not really a time limit on these. I, I have a feeling, like, later on they'll kind of be closer to 45 minutes. But, yeah. Uh, Mr. F29 saying, wait, I'm wondering something. Did you go to Tom Nook's store since you got the secret store room? Oh, I don't think I have, actually. Try that out. And then Ninja Nerd XO saying, who's your favorite villager in Cheville and why? Um, probably Bones, because he calls me boss, he gives me a lot of stuff, and he's just really funny on top of that. So, I like him. He's he's entertaining. So rather than writing my letters in the rain, let's write them in Nook's Homes. I'll just loiter in here a little bit. Okay. Oh, it's Lottie! Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness. It's Warder, so good to see you. Hmm? Congratulations on your secret story. May it bring you infinite happiness. And for and as for the small matter of payment, your bill of 158,000 bells can be paid at the post office ABD. Okay, uh, yeah, it's secret storeroom. Yeah, I found that thing, don't worry. Uh, I noticed you're quite passionate about acquiring items for the home. As such, there's someone I think I'd, er, there's someone I think you'd like to meet. This is Lottie, interior designer extraordinaire at the Happy Home Academy. Actually, I asked her to lead a special seminar on remodeling for all our local collectors. I prefer the store or I prefer the term storage in Paris. Nice to meet you. I'm Lottie from the Happy Home Academy. President Nook did ask me to provide you with some sample or simple redecorating tips, so here I am. I hope you'll allow me to help you make the best use of what you have and to share my love of decorating. Woohoo! I've already prepared a space for the seminar, so head on over. I do hope you're ready to have fun and work hard. Yes, yes. Lottie! Oh my gosh, Lottie's adorable. I have her amiibo and everything. <laughs> uh let's see. Are you ready? Because it's time to do some interior design. Let the training begin. Okay. Uh, okay, let's start with a quick lesson on how to rotate furniture. All you have to do is gently tap the block on the touchscreen to alter the orientation of the furniture. This technique will work on any furniture you place on the floor. Ready to give it a try? Okay, so just tap it, and it rotates. Nice. Perfect. Your instincts are spot on. Next, I'll show you how to reposition furniture. Simply select the furniture you like to move and drag the block to a new space on the diagram. 
Decisions, decisions! Now why don't you try to move some of the furniture in this room? Okay, we'll move it over there. You did it! Well done, that's great. You're a quick learner, aren't you? You can move furniture that's hung on the wall the same way. This will be easy for you. Give it a try. Alright. Woo! I love this. Exactly! My, my! You're a natural. Let's move on. Next up, we have a small furniture. We have some small furniture that can be placed on top of larger pieces of furniture. Using the skills you just learned, how about you give it a whirl? Try to place that sunflower on top of the desk. Hey! Yes, that's it. I have a feeling that you've done this before. Uh, let's see. Hmm, there's another technique you should try once we finish up here. It's a bit more advanced. So if you draw a square around multiple pieces of furniture, you can move them all at the same time. But don't try it when you have visitors or when the gate is open at the train station. It's not polite. All right, that's that. Training's complete. Now you're ready for an interior design challenge. Ooh. Well, that sounds fun. Uh, Pika to B, 687 asking, how much is this game? I picked this up for 15 bucks US. I know it's more elsewhere, but it's a steal. You can get it for 20 on the eShop. Okay, I'm basically a DIY genius now. That's awesome. Oh yeah, so those are basically the controls that are similar to um Oh, that are similar to the Happy Home Designer. Which is nice. Oh, you know what? I can get a new like door or facade or things, right? Well, I'll do that later. None of these look that great. I think I might have to pay off my stuff first, too. Hmm. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay, letters. That's right. I need to send some letters out. Let's go ahead and do so. I just want to do so inside so they don't get soaked. All right, let's send... What? Oh, my mail pouch is full. Okay. Uh, what do I even have over here? Olaf, Olaf, Leonardo, Olaf, Bones, Goldie, Sylvia. Are any of these ones that I want to save? Like, are they worthwhile? Um... Goldie talking to herself. No, that's fine. Bones. No, that's also fine. Not that funny. Olaf. That's not one of his finest works. Bones. Nope, this is fine too. Leonardo. Don't just skip to the end. We gotta save that one. Actually, let's see. Olaf. <laughs> That's right. Oh my gosh, I'm keeping that one. It's hilarious. Uh, to my party warder, receiving a gift from you. Yeah, um. It's funny, but I don't need to keep it. Alright, from Agnes. Eh. Nah. Olaf. Sure, we'll keep that. And then Sylvia. I'm gonna protect her rep. Uh, it's fine. Okay, I typically like having empty letters just as extra storage, but... It's fine, it's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and save some mail. We can just drag this on over here, and it'll save it for eternity, which is kind of nice. <laughs> All right, so... Time to write some letters. All right, I need more water. <coughs> you ever have that problem where you're like, you take a sip of water and then it, it like goes down the wrong pipe or whatever that is. Yeah, that happened here. So let's go ahead and write a letter to Soleil. Um, let's see, dear Soleil. Look at this here tiny hamster. Oh, that's not going to fit, is it? Not, but it's fine. I got a solution. Look at this here tiny hamster running around in a tiny little cage. Does that 
make you think of anything? It's clearly Olaf! <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's gotta be it. Gonna name him Olaf. Um, hamster cage, perfect. Okay, next up. We need to send a letter to Benedict. Dear Benedict, this is that, that, uh, hmm, should we go with doggone, or should we go with, uh, hmm, dang. I like dang right now. This is that dang alarm clock. That, yeah, got from Leonardo that you threw away and or wait threw in the tree threw in the re the tree and and now it's found its way back to ya. Have a good morning. <laughs> Ding! Perfect. Alright. Dear Benedict, that is the dang... Or no, this is that dang alarm clock that you got from Leonardo that you threw in the tree and now it's found its way back to you. Have a good morning. Ding! Perfect. Uh, alright. Let's see. Wait, what am I hearing here? Someone wondering about Agnes. Yeah, no, I, I did go with the with Agnes instead of Agnes. And the reason is, I actually did say that in my, um, inside of my microphone thing, the megaphone. She wasn't replying to that. So, but then I tried Agnes and it worked. So I, I figured, you know what? Okay, I am just mispronouncing her name. So that's, it actually makes sense. I like it, it's kind of an interesting quirk. Like, that's something I would not have done had I not have tried out the megaphone. But because of that, I've learned that I was mispronouncing her name. At least according to the game. But that's why I call her that. Okay, we're going to send a letter here. And we're going to... Hmm. I guess I should probably go to... Let's visit someone's town. I think I'm going to do that with uh, Dream Suite. Okay, so what I need you to do, go ahead and post your Dream Suite address in the chat. Let me know why I should visit you as well. Like, what makes your town interesting? Does it have a neat name? Does it have a cool villager? What's it all about? This is not just for subscribers, it's for anyone. More than glad to check it out. Just make sure it's PG. Nothing inappropriate, or... This will be your last Animal Crossing stream, we'll tell you that much. Uh, but yeah, anyway, go ahead and do that. And that will be what I'll do until I can go to the island to get the rainbow stag. And I gotta do a little bit of bug catching. All the stuff to do. Alright. Just gonna go ahead and sell this stuff right now. I don't really need it. Really, I don't even need the one. Oh, I think I should go with Bacon Weasels right now. That's a great Dream Suite code. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see. 
Alright, I guess I'll go over here. Kinda get ready. Not seeing many uh dream suite addresses right now. I see one. Alright, go with that if got no one else. Actually, maybe I should update mine. I think we're gonna update it right now here. Um Okay. And again, if I don't pick you, it's not a big deal. I wanna see what you got. Hmm. All right, you know what? I think this actually sounds pretty cool. Uh, Danganronpa 2. Number one from the town of Nightbot. Or no one. I don't know. Saying my town is literally called Nightbot for one. I have Sylvia, and I've been playing along. It's not much, but I'd really appreciate if you even considered coming. No pressure, though. You know what? I think that could actually be kind of nice. Checking out someone's town who's been playing along, more or less, instead of really, you know, super advanced kind of thing. Like, I'm sure a lot of you have really wonderful towns, which is awesome. Oh, but Voldecord has Gladys. Oh, man, I don't know. That's a tough one. They're all so good. Uh, and Jedi Asters. So I'll probably end up, oh, wow, I'm up to 49. I'll probably end up visiting Jedi Aster at some point for, uh, like, town visits, because he's a subscriber. Um, okay, so I think I'll just, I'll go to Danganronpa's. Everyone else, thanks for sharing, but we're going to do that. So it's fun to see who's playing along and kind of what they're up to. I don't, I don't want to judge. Obviously, like, there's a huge difference if you've been playing for years or if you've been playing for, like, two weeks. I mean, this is my 15th day, and someone else who may have been playing for a few days. You know, I don't expect, like, like, the most magnificent ever. It's about building it. It's about taking that time, which is kind of neat. So let's just take a look here. I want to see what kind of villagers you got. So let me input this and put it on the screen. Where did it go? Okay. 4F00006F438. Okay, Town of Nightbot. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Go ahead and input that over on the control panel. Town of Nightbot. Okay, let's see. Saying just updated today, so it should be fresh. Well, that's awesome. That's what I want to hear. That is what I want to hear. Okay, so yeah, anyone can tune into this as well. This is Danganronpa 2's town of Nightbot. Da 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 da! Oh no, <laughs> Lolly Boo saying, when I went to your town, Olaf kept saying what a great listener you were. <laughs> Poor guy seems to like you. Oh, all right, welcome to the world of dreams. Okay, so here I am in Nightbot. Cool. So, I don't really feel like running around with an axe. I did that last time. Oh, orange roses, nice. Yeah, I need to get some of those eventually. I'm working on them, I'm working on them. I got pink roses, no problem. Sorry, I'm hungry for some perfect oranges. Oh, wow, this is right by the beach. That's an interesting spot for it. I like it. It's also so bright and sunny here, too. Jeez. Okay. Oh, I like the paths. These are nice. Okay, hello! Who's here? Who's here? <laughs> oh, man. Oh! She's so adorable! Maple, that's right. What do we have here? A visitor? Well, visitor, this is Nightbot, the town of your dreams. Please explore to your heart's content. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I was just reading a book called Lime Sherbet from the Land of Dreams. It's really fascinating stuff. That sounds amazing. That sounds like a Kirby name, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, man. Gosh, she's adorable. Jeez. 
Can't handle the cuteness. Oh my gosh. All right, let's replace Tutu with her. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's see. Pink and yellow princess asking, are you allowed to pick fruit and keep it in dreams? No, unfortunately you're not. Who this guy? Pee Wee. Ah, what? Hey, you're not from around here, right? Well, I hope you take it easy while you're here, dead meme. Dead memes, no! All right, anyway. <laughs> See ya, Pee-wee. That is Playhouse. Hmm, okay, what else we got around here? Oh, nothing over here. Ooh, this is nice. I like that. I actually like with all the mud and stuff here. It looks really cool. Oh, man, I don't have any... Like, hey, you should build this kind of public works projects, I don't think. All right. Oh, Melba! Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. I had Melba back in my GameCube version. Way back! She's like one that I want so badly to come back to me in some capacity. Oh, that's great. Oh, who are you? Pearl! <laughs> Who are you? That's what I just asked you. Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry. I'm feeling a little unhinged by the streamy version of Nightbot. You look a little unhinged with the streamy version of Nightbot, right? All right. Who's over here? Oh, my gosh. Melba. Need Melba. I might whip out the Melba card. That's what I might do. Whoa, you look cool. It's Hans. Hey there, never seen you before. Is this your first time here? Don't worry, I don't bite. Besides, this is just a dream. Go, Just go with a dead meme. <laughs> dead memes everywhere. It's a spice cake. Oh, man. I might just... I might just have to get Melba. The power of cards. Or I was thinking I could get some cards, like open up some packs and then just like pick a villager from those cards. To move in. Which I think that could be kind of neat actually. So let me know. But I don't want to do it like all the time. Like I was thinking doing that once per month. We kind of choose one. Or do something with cards. Whoa, you look cool. You remind me of Lopez. It's Bo. Which town is cooler? This town or your town? I don't buy this bias, but I vote for this town, Salt Lake. Oh, okay. Salt Lake City? <laughs> uh, let's see. Shiny Misty saying, shuffle the cards from the packs so they are random. Well, I was thinking I could, let's say, get like three packs. And then we choose a villager from those packs to move in. And do something like that. Ooh, this is kind of nice. This little bamboo section here. I don't have any bamboo yet. That's okay. You can rarely get it as a gift. Or you can buy it later on. Ooh, G.I. Joe Biden with a really good idea. You should open a pack and have us vote with straw poll. That's a really good idea. It could be Cheville Idol. <laughs> That'd actually be really fun. Oh, that's a clever idea. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, all right. I was wondering why I didn't recognize you. It's because you're from a different town. And Chevra. Speaking of which, my horoscope said I'd meet a new friend today. Maybe that's you, Laba. Awesome. Uh, okay. Oh, man, that's a neat idea, too. I'm gonna have to give that some thought. Maybe I'll get some packs. I need to find, like, a day that would be a good day for it. And I think I should open up more packs. Like, I don't know how i do that, but somehow I would. Chubby Tomagachi just subscribed with Twitch Prime. That is awesome. Some big service right there. Thank you so much for subscribing. Oh, it means so much. Hopefully you're having fun. Oh, it's Sylvia. Hey. You look familiar. Whoa, Warder. Man, I didn't think I'd see you in a place like this, Joey. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh! Mr. F29 saying, and Chevre is goat in French. Oh, that's great. I'm probably mispronouncing it then. I'll have to look up the pronunciation and get it right. One of my friends, I think, like, his favorite is... Chevra. Now that I realize it's French, I get the pun, but now I'm not going to forgive myself with the pronunciation. Uh, Truffles has a shark in her house. 
Uh, you're one of my biggest fans, right? So this must be a dream come true. Good to meet you. Uh huh. It's a cool house. Oh, I'm pronouncing it right. Yay! I'm pronouncing something French right. This never happens to me. <laughs> it never happens to me. Might very well be the proudest moment of my life. Uh, oh, <laughs> that poor grasshopper in the background just jumped in the water. Like, no, I'm done. Peace out. Oh, you're. Cobb, I think? Yeah, Cobb. Green bacon. I need to clean your house a little bit. This looks kind of... Jeez, look at this bed. How do you sleep on there? Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see. GG Graham Cracker saying, If we did it like that, then none of the underrated villagers would ever get chosen. It'll all be cute, popular ones. Unless no fan favorites are in the pack. Well, maybe. It depends on who's watching, too. Oh, hey! <laughs> I like this idea. Great minds think alike. Okay, so let's check out the house. Turnips! Turnips! Oh, what is this? It's like a cool log thing. Oh, it's neat. It's got to play the song of my people here. Ah, very nice. Oh, here we go. Song of my other people. Um, hi. It's good. Bear. Spinny thing. Computer. Hey. Oh no! I guess this room's off limits, guys. Can't go there. Oh man, you got all sorts of rooms already. I only have the one. Jeez. Oh, I like this so far. <laughs> this looks like a feast. Oh, and tonight we dine deliciously. Is this a toilet? No, it's a rice cooker. <laughs> no, that'd be a terrible place for a toilet. What am I talking about? Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Pamelon saying, I'm in your town right now in a dream address, and Olaf asked me if he and I were destined to meet. He seemed a bit starstruck. Uh huh. Alright, so this room must be new. <laughs> Rice toilet. <laughs> Amazing Amp, he says. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's such a disgusting idea. Uh. Alright, this looks new as well. Cool! Well, it's a much bigger house than what I have. We got a second floor and that is it. But that's fine. Well, very cool. Very cool. That's great. Definitely putting in some good work around town. Love your villagers. I know you kind of pieced out for the stream, but hopefully I like your face <laughs> uh, the best. Yeah, but hopefully by the time you're watching this on YouTube or watching it on Twitch archives, which is also an option, by the way, just in case you're watching on YouTube and you're like, I just can't wait for the next episode, gosh darn it. You can go to my Twitch channel and you can actually watch the videos in like my past broadcasts. And that goes for any of my Twitch series. Like it just, it'll auto archive it. I usually have a pre-stream beforehand, so I cut that out for the YouTube version. And if you're watching on Twitch, you can just probably scroll past it. But that's another option, just in case you just can't wait. And uh, yeah. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for this town. Very cool. Definitely check out Nightbot. Again, the Dream Suite address, or the Dream address, or whatever you call it, is over on the side there. And it'll probably update as time goes on as well. So it'll be interesting to see where it is a few months from now, right? Hopefully, it will come as far as Cheville will by then, right? Hopefully, I can <laughs> do that as well. Okay, so it's 5.10. I've been streaming for like two hours and ten minutes. Oh man, so I'm going to go to the island right now. I gotta get a rainbow stag. That's my goal right now, my only goal. Although I might as well make some money while I'm there. So beetles, they don't show up until I think five. So I gotta kind of wait on that. Uh, well, I had to wait. Oh, I feel refreshed, Luna. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, you're not even telling me if it was a good dream or not. Well, then. 
be that way. I forgot to turn my fan on. There we go. Oh, it's still raining here. You know what? I know Soleil says Tarnation, but let me tell you, whenever uh, we get the chance to change her greeting, we need to have her say Ole! Because Soleil needs to say Ole. It just, it needs to happen. It needs to happen. Okay. Gotta get to the island. We're not gonna have a lot of luck, but I think I can at least find bugs there, or the rainbow stag. Goldie! Hi! You're okay, you look a little tired. No, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, Alright, let's see. I wonder what Cesar and Tutu would say about their relationship. They seem to spend a lot of time arguing with each other and making up. That sort of thing would wear me out. Woof. What? Tutu and Cesar now? Has she changed sides? Is she on Team Cesar? Oh my gosh. Uh, Bacon Weasel saying I just had a chance, a chance to change it like yesterday. No, that was for Tarnation. I'm talking like her greeting instead of her catchphrase. There's a little bit of a difference. They can have like two different things. Okay, so... Let's see. We, we get to listen to Cap and say some stuff. Guess I'll read some more in the chat right now. Mr. F29 saying Soleil should say something French. The Soleil means sun in French. Oh, yeah, maybe. I can see that. Definitely makes more sense than Olay. I just like that it rhymes. Uh. All right. I gotta get that rainbow stag. I don't know why I'm doing all this for Sylvia, but I want everyone in town to like me except for Olaf. And even that isn't working very well. Apparently he still likes me a bit. I'm surprised no one wants to move out. I am surprised. Okay, what are you gonna interrupt with? <laughs> he wants to arm wrestle me. They wanna arm wrestle me, huh? Oh, thank you, Pink and Yellow Princess, for reminding me. I need to change the town name back. It happens all the time. Eventually, I'll have it so I can just press a button, and then, bam, it'll work. All right. Okay, we're here. We're here, ladies and gentlemen. I have arrived. Far away land. Oh man, tired. Shouldn't happen. I was pretty tired yesterday. And I did a lot of streaming too. All right. I need to get that rainbow stag. So weird, like to get that. They're kind of hard to find too. That's why I'm glad I didn't chop down the trees in the middle. Even though they tend to get bad bugs, you know, still fine. Uh, let's see, JZT451 asking, when you, you talk to Isabel about problematic citizens, what is that for? That's like to reset their, um, like if they have an offensive catchphrase and they came from another town or something like that, that would reset it. Or if they have like a shirt or things like that, just kind of... Fixes that. Okay. Now, bugs are not quite as common at this time. A little bit of a shame, but... It's still possible to find them there. Hmm. Now, they'll only show up in the center. I wouldn't mind getting some other bugs, too. Like, I mean, if I see a golden stag, by all means, I'm grabbing that thing. Uh, let's see, I'm hearing too early for a rainbow stag. I think someone in the chat said it. they don't show up until 5. They don't... They're not, like, common. But I think they might still show up, assuming that was correct. I thought it was closer to 7, too. But... Either way... We'll see what I can do. Uh, 
Yeah, it's just kind of a pain. As you can see, <laughs> not very easy to get a lot of bugs right about now. Boy, I don't even have my beans. Okay, let's see. Lobe70 is asking, is bug catching popular in Japan? Yes, actually it is. Wait, I think I need a walking stick, I'm thinking about it. For some reason, I think I sold it by mistake. Yeah, if I recall, it's pretty common over there. Hmm. Yeah, this is why fishing, or not fishing, bug catching at night is definitely the way to go. Because, like, you just can't find as many bugs early on. Alright, that's a Miyama stag. At least the rainbow stag should be... Oh! Golden stag, right there! I'm gonna grab that for the bug catching tournament. Let's see if I can get this thing without startling it. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Okay, so that thing's 61.6 millimeters. Obviously, I'd like a big one for that, because the larger size of bug you have to enter the bug catching contest, the more likely it is to win, or at least the more points you'll get. Wait, do I have that? I think I do. I think that's a lantern moth. Well, I'm going to get it just in case. Lantern fly, my bad. Ran out of gas. I don't have to worry about that. I had some chimichangas last night. I'm not running out of gas. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Here's another beetle I could use. I'm not going to use it for the contest. But, I can sell it for a little bit of money. Hmm. I'm just glad I got that golden stag, because that's exactly what I wanted to have. In fact, that'll make it so simple to win the bug catching contest. Jedi Astro with another thousand bits! Thank you so much for the bits! Dang! Really liking seeing these bugs, huh? You're just... I see what it is! It's really a matter of, alright, you're giving me all the good luck I need for uh, taking down the rare things, like the coelacanth and... That golden stag. <laughs> Thanks so much for the support, Jedi Aster. Really appreciate it. And Alda Pal <laughs> just subscribed. That is awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing. That is some big service. Hopefully I got the number of A's correct in your name. <laughs> oh, man. That is great. You guys are just on fire. I'm so glad you guys are loving this series, too. Again, reminder, if you are a Twitch subscriber, Link your Twitch account with uh, Discord. If you don't want, if you don't know what Discord is, it's kind of like Skype, except more towards like voice chat and text chat in particular. And very cool. It's where we organize a whole bunch of the, the turnip mafia you'll hear, and it's great. We got a nice Animal Crossing community going on over there. Uh, oh, nice! There's another really good beetle. See, it's that, that good luck you guys are bringing me, right? It's the Hercules one. Still not finding the rainbow stag. Hopefully it doesn't take quite as long. Horned Hercules, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't take quite as long as the Coelacanth, right? But at least the other beetles are showing up, so it's just a matter of time. Okay, we gotta kick those ones off their trees, though. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, there's a golden stag. My bad. Well, I already have the one that I need. Yeah, you better run. You better run, too, bug. Really, it is just that one. The gold, or not golden, the rainbow stag that I need right now. Hmm. Hmm. Go away. Yeah, those things, you always want to chase those away. They sell for, like, nothing. Nothing. Bad bugs. Bad bug. 
<laughs> oh man. Uh, let's see. Fang Light Wind saying, "Don't forget to look up by the waterfall for the rare fish that shows up there." Yeah, that's right. I should probably do that because I have not really done much waterfall fishing lately. Which one is that? Do you happen to know off the top of your head? I don't remember. I think there's some kind of like salmon or something. But I think there's another one. Like, there's a few different seasonal ones. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. It's like Clamatus Stag. I want this. They sell for a pretty darn good amount of money. Oh, yeah, they are really, really... Well, I won't say docile, but they don't give a darn if you approach them. Uh, I don't need that. I don't actually remember how much that is. Okay, I've had good luck so far. I found good bugs other than the rainbow stag. But I haven't found the rainbow stag, so... Yeah, that's a problem. I mean, it's not something that would be that bad. Ooh, another Cyclomatus stag. Cyclomatus. I don't know how it's pronounced, actually. JZT451 saying, I was watching the Ubisoft conference earlier. What were the turnip prices? I think they were 81. And that is on the decline. So we're kind of set. It's not a bad thing that it's declining, because it's slowly. So, it's what I want to see. Definitely check it tomorrow morning. Now, tomorrow's stream will be at, let's see, 8 p.m. Central Time. So, it'll be a later stream. Probably a little too late for everyone over in Europe. At least that, you know, isn't a night owl. But it works out okay. Because there's early streams to kind of offset it. Although Saturday's stream will be earlier instead of at 8. So that's uh, something to kind of keep in mind. Because we got the bug off for that. That'll be fun. Uh, that is Miyama Stag. Get out of here. Miyama, go back to your mama. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else we got there. Snake Eye saying, I will be here. I'm always here, Maryland. Oh, boy. Oh, pulling the late night for some Animal Crossing. Ooh, there we go. That's what I want to see. Hmm. Great. Uh, Bacon Weasel saying, I need my song from KK on Saturday. I really hope it opens by then, but that's right. I do need that. So maybe there'll just be two streams then. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be streaming so much. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. That's going to be rough. Because I think I got my uncle coming up from Florida that weekend too. I don't know if we were doing anything Saturday. I might just have to not do KK and thinking about it. I can do it next week. Let's see. Megs Mareep asking, what time is the Saturday stream for Animal Crossing? Uh, we're going to definitely have one at 3 p.m. Central Time. Ooh, shark. I don't know if I'm going to have another one at 8 or not. It's different than the usual Saturday time. I'll update the schedule to reflect that. It won't show on today's layout, though, because that's for the usual times. But for any events, oh, for any events, obviously, I... I'm definitely open to adjusting my schedule. But we got the bug off, so that'll be important. It actually shouldn't take much time in thinking about it. I don't even need to go catch a bug. Your best catching bugs on, like, 
an unrelated day and just saving them in your storage for later. Because then you can go to the island and then it's just so much better. The bugs are just top tier bugs. They're so much more likely to win. So that's what I'm going to do. Originally I was thinking I was going to do this on, well, tomorrow. And I might still do some bug catching tomorrow and thinking about it because I could use some money. Right now all my money is kind of tied up in turnips. Ooh, hi. Uh, Star Drop Thief saying hi Marilyn. been a big fan of your stream since 2011 i just want to say you've been utterly delightful so glad to follow you keep up the great work well that's awesome i'm so glad that you've been enjoying my streams and videos for such a long time that is great uh thanks so much for popping in and tuning in live now too it's a lot of fun animal crossing's like super relaxed super chill uh the blue galley saying how do you sneak this is very important when doing bug catching, okay? You hold an A, and then you move the control stick, but if you do it just a little bit, like, it, it is pressure sensitive, so based on how much you're moving, it does adjust it. So, for catching some of the, the really rare bugs, you're gonna wanna do that. But you can only do that with the bug catching net. I mean, actually, you can just move very slowly like this. I think it's a little less likely to make them run away, but Really, you want to be doing the sneak thing to get them. Okay, I need that rainbow stag. That's what I want. I've been getting, like, a lot of other bugs, but not the one I need. Hmm. Maybe I'll... Shark. I'm trying to think if I actually have all the sharks. I think I might. I have hammerhead. I have saw. I have ocean sunfish, and I have normal shark. I think that's all of them. Okay, come on. Come on. Whale. Can you get a whale? Whale shark. Oh, that's right. I do need a whale shark. That'd be good for a fishing contest, too. Oh, wow, my bad. <laughs> terrible. Okay, get out of here. Oarfish. You need an oarfish. Is that a shark? Ambulon saying, imagine if you could catch a whale. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how I can catch a shark. Like, really? Just think about that. How intense it must be to fish up a shark, for goodness sakes. That'd be wild. Kinda neat, but I don't know, it'd be scary. I'm gonna go inside and refresh this. I think I got annoying bugs on the ground or something. Yeah, look at those. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're gone. Yeah, there were like so many of those tiger beetles, I think they are. I don't need those things. Hey, the blue galley just caught a golden stag. That's great. We're just asking about the whole sneaking thing, too, so I'm glad that worked out for you. See, always feel free to ask questions if you got them, because... I'm more than glad to answer them if they're, like, related to Animal Crossing and whatnot. And if I don't know the answer, I bet you the chat would, too. Uh, let's see. Start, up tree Start Drop Thief saying, Marilyn actually went deep sea fishing once and caught a ton of little baby sharks. Whoa! It was exciting at first, but after the sixth one we fished up, we got really annoyed. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Uh, and then... Hoopaloo asking, can you find sharks on the island or just on the beach of your town? You can definitely find them in both places. In fact, if anything, I'd say they're probably more common on the island, or at least easier to find. But I think they only show up at night, if I'm not mistaken, or like 4 p.m. and on. Can't really find them in the morning. At least I don't think so. Wait, is that a... Oh, golden stag! 
Here we go. These things are a pain. I think I'm actually full on inventory, though. Whoops. I'll get rid of something that I don't need. That lantern fly. Whoa! Alright, this one is 65 millimeters. So, theoretically, this one is a better one. It doesn't show their size afterwards. Uh, Amazing Amphi saying, is the island ram randomized with your town? Yeah, it's like more or less random. I think. It's not as random, though. Alright. Then we have... Uh, hold on a second. Let me put this stuff away. Blood Doctor 187, who would you like to leave besides Olaf, Maryland? Um, like, if I had to kind of choose someone, like, ones that I'm more or less okay with, uh, if they have to go, if they want to go or something, I would be fine if, uh, Sylvia, Cesar, Benedict, or Tutu leave, or even Soleil, I guess. Like, I want to keep Goldie and Bones. I kind of want to keep Olaf, kind of. Like, I want her to leave, but it's got to be on my terms. And I want to keep Agnes around. She's really nice. And I feel like I'm missing someone, too. Leonardo. Well, I guess he could even leave, too, in thinking about it. Probably move out to California like all the other YouTubers do. Uh, let's see, Choco Tacos 13 asking, what's your plan of visiting Dream Towns? I'd love, you, I'd love for you to visit mine. I actually just visited one about 30 minutes ago. And uh, every so often I'll visit one. Sometimes it'll be subs only. Sometimes it'll be random. Sometimes it'll be anyone in the chat. For this one, I did anyone in the chat. We checked out Danganronpa 2's town of Nightbot. And it was pretty cool. But yeah, there's not necessarily a rhyme or reason behind it. Oh, speaking of which... Danganronpa 2's back! Nice. Oh man, look at all these good bugs! So now the question is, should I take a Horned Hercules? Actually, it's not really a big deal. I can sell a bunch of these, like... Oh, I just, oh, uh, let's see. Maybe I should go with Horned Hercules. Instead of Golden Stag, I think they're like the same tier. So, they're competitive. It's not really that tough to actually lose, <laughs> realistically. I'm gonna just destroy everyone else with their pathetic excuses of bugs. Be squishing them. But, you know. Like, if you're gonna win, it's important to just, like, win with a landslide. I'm mayor. I don't have time for a recount right about now. <laughs> oh. Where is that darn rainbow stag? That thing needs to show its face around here right about now. I reckon. Instead, it's all these little tiny bugs. Go away. Go away. Go away. Shoo! Get out of here! That is... Yeah, wait, there it is! That's what I need! Right there. Rainbow stag. I can get off this stinking island. Oh, don't mess this up. Got it! Oh, baby! Okay, thank goodness. That was just brutal. Like, what, 25 minutes or something? <laughs> I don't remember exactly when I went to the island, but I know it was a while ago. Ugh. Okay, well, the good news is we don't have to worry about bug catching tomorrow night unless we want to just for money. Because I've got plenty of... Plenty of stuff for that. Got 
Horned Hercules left and right. Got like three of those. Two Golden Stag. 200 more bits from Jedi Aster. Thank you for the bits. We did it. Bring me good luck. Is that, or maybe they're slowing me down. I don't know. <laughs> that might be it too. It's possible. Could be working with the coelacanth and with the uh, other thing. Oh man. Nah, nah, you're on my side. I know it. I know it. Alright, let's get a celebratory song. And then let's go ahead and uh, head on over to Sylvia. Just watch. Now we're going to have a problem. We're not going to be able to find Sylvia. I'm calling it right now. It's going to be like, okay, where is Sylvia? Actually, we haven't even spoken with Olaf yet today. He's probably going to be like, I see that rainbow stag. I must have it. <laughs> uh, and he'll probably like want to buy it and then he'll get all sad that it's, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Fang Lightwind saying that fish at the bottom of the waterfall is called a char. That's right. Okay. Actually, JZT451 has a very good point. I might have enough to pay off the storage room. I will definitely have enough to do that in thinking about it. Um. Yeah, I should do that. Oh, there's Goldie over there. Okay, golden stag. I can leave that for right now. Uh, I think I need a walking stick. I'm just gonna sell all these other bugs that I don't really need. Okay, golden stag. That looks good. Alright. Gotta deliver this to Sylvia. It's still raining here. Goldie! Hi! Wow! I can't seem to bump into anyone else today, Warder. Alright, let's talk. Uh, I'm more relaxed wearing an outfit that looks basic than something flashy. That's why I'm wearing my spade tee today. Woof! <laughs> Don't forget to get your dog spade and never mind. Alright, let's go before I continue that joke. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm terrible. <laughs> Benedict! How you doing, bird? Get my alarm clock yet? Oh wait, I don't want to spoil the surprise. Uh, let's chat. So what do you think of my outfit, Warder? Uh, it's flashy, of course. Flashy, huh? Do I stand out? Well, that's a good thing. This way, people can pick me out in a crowd. Uh-huh. Alright, let's see. I need to... Oh, what is this? Oh, there's Sylvia. That's good. What was my coupon for? It was something that I needed to do, right? Well, obviously. Oh, yeah, the beetle thing. Clear out an unwanted item by selling it at retail. I feel like I can do that. Maybe I have to take it from my house? Alright, let's do this deal behind here. <laughs> uh, oh, my super awesome hair. This rain's gonna mess it up. So, is there something you need from me? Alright, I got a bug. This took so much work to get, Sylvia. Well, looky here, that is one fine looking rainbow stag. Wow, that looks, that's like what I say. Well, look -a here, that's one fine looking rainbow stag. <laughs> she's copying me, <laughs> my accent. Maybe she's actually Southern as well. Uh, you're a big help. Here, as the town's number one master of catching stuff, you totally deserve this. It's a shirt, I'm gonna scream. Uh, it's a lawn chair. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Thanks so much, I'm gonna start secretly calling you Creature Wrangler for this. A lawn chair! All that work for a lawn chair! Hi, Leonardo, do you want a lawn chair? Um, here, let's chat. Oh, yeah. You know what? I've already got plenty of bu I mean, I would never cheat in a contest of skill like that. Ugh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go over here. Wait, there's something else I'm forgetting to do. I need to set up the the public works project. I'll do that in a moment. Let me sell off some of these bugs. Alrighty. Um, boop, 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 
I think I have the lantern fly and thinking about it. I don't think I want the launch here. Well, maybe I do. We'll see. Uh, all right. It's fine. Mako Ace K with the Mitzi saying hello. First time here. Well, awesome. How are you doing and how's it going? Unfortunately, we're like just about to stop. I've been streaming for about two and a half hours. Actually, more than that. Um, but yeah, I do stream daily, which is pretty fun. Just got back getting a rainbow stag for Sylvia. <laughs> oh, man. All right. What else do I need to do? I need to... I need to sell something for my house, I think is what it's trying to tell me. Let me go ahead and grab something there. That'd be pretty good. Hmm. Blue Galliot saying raid much of a raider to be honest I really should like it's so tough I try to like I'm a family friendly streamer so sometimes it's tough to know all right is this person family friendly are they fun you know can I recommend them and like there are a few like on my auto host list I definitely do but I should probably do that for some more people actually oh man I think uh, Renee is streaming she's pretty fun that could be entertaining. I wouldn't mind sending a few people over to watch her if you still want to see some Animal Crossing. Actually, she's playing Happy Home Designer, it looks like. Well, I don't know. I'm Like I said, I'm not much of a reader. It's a little too social for me. Um, I wonder if this would count. If I got rid of that. What else do I want to get rid of? I mean, I like everything I have here. I'll get rid of this polka dot shirt. We'll do that. We'll do that. Well, I'll tell you what. I won't do, like, a uh, an actual full-on raid, but I'll host her, like, immediately afterwards. That'll be fun. At least I think so. Try to remind me if I forget, to. But definitely worth sticking around for. She's been doing a lot of Animal Crossing lately. I've tuned in for a few of her streams. I haven't, like, said anything, but it's been enjoyable. Uh, let's see... Hmm. You sell that to retail, right? That's what I gotta do. But first, I wanna see if I have to donate this walking stick. I have this feeling like I do. Hmm. Okay, let's give you walking stick, <laughs> which sounds kind of bad, actually. Uh, okay, I was correct about that. Wonderful. I had a feeling like I sold it by accident. I couldn't remember if it was that or not, but it was. Wonderful. Yeah, Snake Eye. <laughs> Say never raid me when streaming if you want family friendly. Yeah! Yeah, as much as I'd love to raid like you or uh, or Rid or you know any like I know we've got a uh, rather <laughs> differences in our choice of words to say the least, which is fine. It can be very funny. Don't get me wrong. Like I I myself don't mind that when I'm watching stuff, but one thing to watch it myself, it's another to kind of kind of send people over there. I know you know. Jedi Astro with 300 kappa winking bits. <laughs> What's that? I got, I got something in my eye? Thank you so much for the bits. Oh, man. All right, let's pay off. Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have paid off the loan thing. Well, I'll do these things before I leave. Long stream hype. Jeez, and here I was thinking, oh, it's going to be a short stream today. No problems at all. But it's all been really good. Like, gotten... A whole bunch of bits and people subscribing like I can totally stick around then like that's the kind of stuff that keeps me going obviously that and like you know wonderful comments and conversation and the like but when it's like oh okay you know I can kind of stick around more I don't have to be busy with stuff because you guys are helping with that regard that that definitely does kind of kind of help <laughs> I'm not gonna lie so, let me sell off this stuff, and the shirt, 
Everyone's just out in the rain today. Everyone except for Olaf. I gotta go find him. Okay, wait, what? Oh, did I get the thing after all? Oh, nice. Wait, did I... Did I sh sell the shirt? I didn't even sell the shirt. Okay, let's see. Snake Eye saying, I'm gonna go cry. Anyway, my pun went unnoticed earlier. Oh! Womp womp. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, there's Olaf! Are you here to sell something today, Witha? You may be able to get rid of an item, but the memories you had with it stay with you, Warder. Getting rid of my beans. Okay, let's go ahead and sell off this jolly painting. Yeah, I don't need it anymore. These bugs. I don't really need this shirt either. Okay, I'll have to dispose of one of them. That's fine. Cool. All right, let's see. Hang Lightwind saying the char shows up at 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I can do that some other time. I'm just saying, 23 says, have you done Pokemon Super, Super Mystery Dungeon Let's Plays yet? Yeah, they're actually on, over on my channel. Find a playlist if you go to my playlist. You might need to hit, hit see more or something like that, but I, I have done one. The post game's done, just not the post post game. I'm not doing right now. Okay, let's set up a public works project for Blathers. Gotta do this. Museum renovation. Oh, it's only 198,000 bells. It's not terrible. I was worried it'd be a little bit more. Hmm. Do I have enough to pay that off? Oh, I feel like I should do that. And I can start getting some other cool things. And I can get some space stuff up there, too. Or not, like, space stuff, but... Uh, alright. Let's see. I need to... Hi, Benedict. Let's talk. The other day, Bones forgot Cesar's name for a second, but Cesar said he didn't mind at all. I thought the situation was going to get really awkward, but it ended up being just fine. Wow! Bones? Oh, well, Cesar, I'm sure, was just being polite, but he won't forget that. He won't. No! Gosh darn it. Uh... Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see. I'm just saying, 23 is saying, if I may ask, how has the YouTube ad apocalypse affected me? Not as bad as some people, I'll tell you that, because I'm already a rather family-friendly video creator, but it's been pretty bad. Uh, Twitch has been wonderful lately, though, so that's why, in case you haven't noticed, I've been definitely focusing on Twitch. It's also been a lot more fun, for whatever that's worth, too. Like... I've been having a lot of fun in each of my my streams. Okay, so I want to... Oh, man, I have to pay off my loan on that. Gosh, darn it. I could get my house expanded, though. Might not be a bad thing. It's either that or the museum upgrade, right? Because I have just enough money for that. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I do. Because it's in my storage right now. Okay, let me go ahead and grab that money. So what should I do, guys? Should I pay off the museum or should I pay off my house and get another upgrade or another room? I feel like the museum would help the citizens of this town a little bit more. I think we should do that. I'll worry about my house later. I want to be a good mayor. And to be a good mayor, it means you got to put others first, right? And Blathers, he has a request, so we gotta do that. Um, where do I pay that off at, though? I think, main station? 
Uh, JZT451 saying there's still some bugs in the basket. Yes, I'm leaving those there for the bug catching contest. Okay, let's pay this off. Oh man. Well, we'll make some money tomorrow, I think will be good. We'll go to the bug island. It'll be tomorrow night, so I got plenty of time for that. Then we can pay off the house afterwards. And I'll make a lot of money off of turnips. Like, after this, we should have probably 2.4 plus mil, so we'll be fine. But we just have to kind of wait for that. Uh, alright, anyway, I think that's going to do it for today. So, hopefully you enjoyed. Again, Saturday's stream will be at 3 p.m. I don't know if I'm doing an evening one or not, but probably not, because again, I think my uncle's coming into town. Haven't seen him in a few years. So, oh, Jedi Astro with 500 Kappa Bits! Thank you so much for the bits! Even more! Sorry I have to get going. I think, uh, I think you've dragged this stream on long enough, right? <laughs> well, thank you so much. Eh? Eh? <laughs> all right, anyway, thanks everyone for all the support and for tuning in. Hopefully you had a good time, and I'll see you next time, everyone. Woo!